As House of Dragon Season 1 premiered, the first episode of the season drew in nearly 10 million viewers, marking the biggest audience for an HBO series premiere. Since the series grew in popularity, it was only fair to renew it for another season. Yes, it's official, House of Dragon Season 2 is happening. The second season has been renewed before the second episode of the series even aired. The prequel to Game of Thrones, which is one of the biggest series in the world and a huge hit, caught many GOT fans' attention. Everyone was patiently waiting to see this prequel and see how well it would perform. After the first episode, the series had instant popularity, so it was only fair that the show will continue for a second season. There have also been a few rumors that the show will continue past season 2 and into season 3 and maybe even more. The showrunner of the series, Ryan Condal, said that the narrative of season 1 was deliberately slowed down for the viewers to get invested in the characters and he further added that throughout season 2, that will change which will give us much greater moments and action. The show is based on George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood, and based on that, we could imagine all of the chaos coming our way. However, that is if the show continues to follow the book. So far, Season 1 has been met with plenty of positive reviews, both from critics and fans, especially fans that have been waiting to see it since Game of Thrones ended. Princess Rhaenyra. I'm Queen Rhaenyra now. With season 2 officially confirmed, we can't help wondering when we will be able to watch it. While that might be a tough question to answer, even though a new season is coming, no information about the release date has been made. So far, we have no confirmed release date, but we do know that the production and filming are set to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, it's set to begin at the end of 2022 or in early 2023. Show writers have reportedly already begun work on the scripts for season 2. According to some other sources, filming is set to begin in spring 2023, which could push the release date of the show to at least 2024. Given that this show uses a lot of special effects, even if the filming wraps up quickly, the post-production would end up taking a while to get every special effect in order. Filming for the first season began in April 2021, and the season was released 15 months later. If the filming for the second season begins by the end of 2022, 15 months from then would be probably around March 2024, which means that we probably won't see the second season in 2023. Depending on how long the filming and post-production will take, the earliest the season might be released is early 2024. But something tells us that they're gonna take their time and make sure the season is done to perfection before releasing it, which could mean that it could be released in summer or even at the end of 2024, so, like we've been patient with the first season, we must remain patient for the second one as well. It takes a great amount of time to produce a television season of this magnitude, so we'll have to wait and let them do their magic so we can have another iconic season of House of Dragon. Storm's End is a short flight from here. You have Baratheon blood from your grandmother, Rhaenys. After the season 1 finale, we finally know who made it to season 2. You can expect the same cast from Season 1 representing the Targaryens, the Hightower, and the Valerians. Emma D'Arcy will for sure return as Rhaenyra alongside Olivia Cooke as Alicent and the remaining Targaryen children. The two fan favorites in Season 1 were Emily Carey and Millie Alcock, who portrayed a young Alicent and Rhaenyra. However, despite their popularity, it's unlikely that the two will be returning to the following season. The show creator Ryan Condal explained that he isn't closing the door to anything, but he also pointed out that they aren't a part of the story that they're telling. So we might have to say goodbye to Carrie and Alcock. Matt Smith is also expected to reprise his role as Damon, and we're also expecting to see several new additions as well, alongside the already existing cast. Season 1 focused on just three houses, but as war breaks out, more Westeros families get pulled into the conflict, which includes the Starks, the family at the heart of Game of Thrones. In Fire and Blood, Craig and Stark, the current Lord of Winterfell, plays a major role, so we could expect the Stark family to return and play an important role in the upcoming Civil War. So far, cast information is being kept a secret, and we'll likely get to know more about it as the show starts filming. I shall take your answer to the Queen, my lord. House of Dragon's story takes place 200 years before the events of the original show, exploring the events that led up to the implosion of House Targaryen, including the Civil War dubbed Dance of the Dragons. Throughout Season 1, the story slowly set the scene for the conflict. Throughout Season 1, we got to see King Viserys I marrying his daughter's best friend Alicent, which ends the friendship between Alicent and Rhaenyra. Aegon has been crowned as his successor. <laughs> 
Rhaenyra ends up marrying her uncle Daemon and having several children together. After a season filled with unexpected and thrilling events, the season came to a heart-stopping end with an unexpected death. Before we move forward, we must warn you that we're about to pretty much spoil the season 1 finale, so you've been warned. In the finale, Rhaenyra learns about Viserys' death and the illegal crowning of Aegon and suffers so much stress that she gives birth to a stillborn child. She recruits her allies and sends her son Lucerys to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, she sends her son to do her bidding. However, Aemon has other plans. Although he has no intentions of killing Lucerys, Aemon's dragon had other plans, and with the lack of control over the dragon, Lucerys and his dragon are both killed as the devastated Aemon watches Lucerys' cloak falling from the skies. The episode ends with Rhaenyra hearing the devastating news. Season 1 has been slowly building up to the Dance of the Dragons, and as described in the Fire and Blood book, it'll likely occur in the second season. This show decided to take the long route to get us to the Civil War, but after all the events of Season 1 and the shocking finale, we do expect the new season to involve more than the Civil War. The first season ended with Rhaenyra preparing for war after learning that her son is dead. The new season will likely follow exactly after the events of the last season and will portray the Dance of the Dragons. According to the book, Rhaenyra and Daemon will retaliate against Alicent and her family in a big way. We'll see an epic fight filled with revenge and the search for justice. Season 2 will likely cover all or some of the next two years. That period will decide the successor for the Iron Throne. While it's unclear how much of the Civil War Season 2 will get through, we can likely expect a more standard chronology without time jumps. The events that are about to follow in Season 2 will likely show us who will become the successor and our predictions are for Rhaenyra, but we can never be sure if they will follow the book exactly or step away from the story and include new moments that haven't been included in the book. So far, we roughly know what to expect from the new season, but the details of the season are yet to be uncovered. We'll likely need to see the trailer to see if the new season will show the entirety of the Dance of the Dragons or will this civil war be spread across two seasons? If you've read the book, then you know that from this moment forward, the show will involve some of the most horrifying events in Westeros history. It'll also show us what's next for the Targaryens and how they'll make it out of this. As of today, not much information is known about the actual storyline, but if they stay close to the book, we'll probably see everything we've previously mentioned. If not, then we'll have a completely different story that none of us will know. But until then, let's be patient and wait for the second season to premiere. Check out this video next. <laughs>